Pepe Solomon, yes, Dean Steven Tepper, thanks for joining. Thank you, sir. I know you're thinking, why do I have to spend time with the Dean right before graduation? But right. we appreciate that you're willing to take a little walk and chat about uh, your artistic work and your life and your, uh, what you hope, hope to do uh, after you graduate. So you're a painter. Yes, I am. Uh, very powerful work. Um, you, uh, you've been committed to telling the stories of African immigrants. Yes, I have. You are an African immigrant. I am. And so, what does this journey mean to you? Why, what is, why is it so important to you to paint the portraits, to interview, uh, and, to, and to project the voices of people that have come here from another country? Uh, for me, so far, it has been very important because I feel that I am uh, carrying the voices of uh, millions of people uh, that has uh, worked walk the same path that I'm on right now. Um, so it's very important. I, um, I'm glad that I'm getting this opportunity to uh, actually bring these stories you know, at the forefront and make people aware of what it means to be an African in America or somewhere else okay. um, out of Africa. So what does it mean? It means being in the middle. It means being in a spectrum where you relate to no one else but your kind and my kind meaning just those people that are in the middle um, and can't relate to either uh, both actually um, can't relate to Africa completely now and can't relate to America. When my mom was pregnant for me in 92, um, I think it was, yes, uh, there was a civil crisis going on and she had to flee. The country. Okay. Um, and upon fleeing, she gave birth to me in Guinea. Okay. So I've been in Guinea ever since. Um, and at age five is when I relocated to a refugee camp, and I was there until I was 14, I was wow. 15. Uh, so those experiences still drive you, animate your thinking, your compassion for other African refugees and yes. immigrants? Yes, most definitely. Uh, based on my experiences, I uh, basically this is how I looked at it. I thought my journey uh, was very special and it was very interesting and not a lot of people have uh, a walk the path that I walk on. Uh, so I felt it was my responsibility to uh, you know, represent everyone that kind of relates to, to me in a sense. And also I wanted to erase the single story uh, because not everyone that is African in America you know, walked the same path that I did. And I want to basically tell all these stories in a larger sense so it's not just, you know, He's a refugee from a, well, a war-infested uh, place. Um, yeah. And I know authenticity is important to you. You use that word a lot. I do. So uh, how, how do you use your art to try to um, bring forward a more authentic understanding or experience or perspective? What, 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 where does authenticity fit into how you work? Just um, when, you, when you take a closer look, of my paintings, you can tell the richness of the surface of the painting. Uh, the reason why I approach it like so is because I try to incorporate that richness that I feel um, is it, provided just being African. You know what I mean? It, it, we're just super rich in culture. So the layers and the, and the textures of your painting reflect the layers of experience. Right. Of it's, your culture, your right, own experience. Right, correct. Um, so all those things influence my work, and I try to stay, I approach it individually. Um, the portraits that I paint are basically based on the people that I'm painting and their personalities. Oh, I'm unbelievably uh, compelled by your work. Thank you. It's, uh, it's powerful. I'm gonna, after we finish interviewing, I'm gonna negotiate with you to see if I can purchase one of your pieces. Definitely. That'll be, a, that'll be an honor. And you started as a computer programmer. Yes, I, uh, after high school in 2012, I, um, I went to finish college and uh, started with a computer programming uh, degree. And um, two years in, I completely uh, rerouted because it didn't really suit, it, it wasn't me. It wasn't you, it wasn't authentic. It wasn't authentic, you know. So here you are constantly trying to find the real story Right. The layered story, the texture story for yourself, yes. but for the, also for the voices and the faces 
that you paint and that you represent through your artwork. Most definitely. And so, um, uh, when you think about what you've accomplished, what's next, how do you want to use your creativity to change the world? I just want to use my uh, ability to create, to basically inspire uh, this generation, generations to come, and um, just influence people to, to basically believe in themselves and know that um, it doesn't matter what life is now, it can always be better. You just need to stay dedicated and remain yourself. And uh, once you start questioning yourself is when things become a little difficult, as you can tell, uh, after I graduated high school. Um, so I would like my work to do that, for sure. Just uh, inspire the, the next generation. Um, I'm not living just for me now. I feel like you know, I'm representing uh, more more than me. This is bigger than me, in a sense. Um, and I'm just basically doing my job uh, and fulfilling prophecy. Well, sense. you're not only inspiring the, the next generation, but you're even inspiring the old generation, like me and others. <laughs> uh, the work is powerful. I see it in your eyes. You, you hold a lot of your truth there. Thank you. Um, and uh, thanks for being with us on this journey. Definitely. Thanks for choosing to study art. Um, to, to being brave enough to say this is who I am and what I need to do. Um, a true inspiration. Congratulations on making it to commencement. I can't wait to, to help you move your tassel from one side to the other as you commence into the next phase of your thank you. creative life. Thank you. Pepe, thank you. My pleasure.